Hello, Internet. My name is Steve, and welcome to Raffo. Secret says it's coming to town. We've got another <laughs> special edition of Raffo today. I am here with Mark Scrutter, who is the founder and purveyor, the, the runner of the Secret Sazed, Secret Santa Gift Exchange. I wanted to make sure we got this information out to the entirety, or at least as much of the Cosmere fandom as we can, because this is an <laughs> excellent thing that happens every year. We are on the... Uh, what year are we on now, Mark? What? I believe it's the 10th year and 11 seasons. The first year with COVID, with people being hmm. isolated, we did an extra season in the summer. And so it's 11, 11 times that we've done it, but I believe it's the 10th year. <laughs> wow. 10 years of a Cosmere-specific Secret Santa gift exchange. So... Mark, before we begin, not before we begin, what am I talking about? As we begin, <laughs> now that we've begun, what exactly is Secret Says It? How did this get started? So I used to be really active on Tumblr, and there was a really big Cosmere fandom there. Um, there probably is still some, um, but I've moved away from the platform. But there were a mm. lot of artists, and a couple of people had mentioned, you know, art exchanges and whatnot and um either someone else mentioned it and i thought it was a good idea or i came up with it but i was like okay why don't we just do a gift exchange i can just set people up with random other people to send art to we had like 20 25 people that first year which is pretty big for a first year gift oh, exchange uh -huh. uh, but then you know, I got more of my ducks in a row the, over the following years, and we tend to get around like 100, 125 people every year. I think our biggest one was like 150. That's um, amazing. So it's it's just kind of grown from there, and it started, they were all digital, and then we went to physical, and it's mostly mm -hmm. physical now. About 10% of it is digital. It started actually just as an art exchange, not as an actual like gift exchange. That's fascinating. How many people participated last year? Do you know? Last year, Ish. we had 101 when I looked at it. Wow. Um, and it was a smaller year, kind of on purpose, because I was working a very, very busy job at Meta Facebook. Um, and Ooh. so I knew I didn't have as much time. So I didn't really advertise it. I sent out the newsletter to the people who were already... Uh, who had participated in the past, I put it mm -hmm. in the Secret Says It group, but I didn't put it anywhere else, <laughs> specifically to keep it a little smaller. Hopefully this year with this coming video will be a little bit bigger. I hope that the video has the impact that I want it to have, and we get a bunch of people this year. <laughs> what is Secret Says It? I mean, I know we've we've been talking about it, but it's it's a Cosmere-focused gift exchange, right? That can be digital or physical gifts. Mm -hmm. What What's the like pairing up process like? <laughs> How do you actually match people with their gifties? It's way more time-consuming than people would assume. So <laughs> since people just give all sorts of really creative gifts, and so it's not like you can have someone say, yeah, I would love a picture of Veen and someone says yes I will make a picture of Veen no it's this one person is making bath bombs that are patterned for the different female lead characters throughout the Cosmere and someone is um, making a cosplay sword and someone is cross-stitching a bookmark and so each and every one of them has to be hand-picked okay the type of gift this person is giving will work for this person. And then we have to make sure also that the artist has read the books that the giftee is, uh, is willing to accept. And so we have some ways to filter that when people sign up, what they're willing to get, what they'd be excited for, and also what, uh, what type of thing it's being given. That's been refined over. Um, so it's it's complicated. Every single match is handpicked. It's a little bit easier. Not everyone makes their own gifts. Um, the last couple of years, there's really been there's been an uptick in the number of people who are hiring artists to make something. And so that's kind of a cool thing that's been uh, that's been coming in. And um, that 
that tends to be a little bit easier in the pairing. But there are also people who are like, I want to support this artist on Etsy, or I want to buy something from Dragonsteel. And so we just have to match those up. And again, that's, I think that that's probably 10, 15% of them. And the digital is probably 10%. And the rest are all created things. Um, and that includes like artwork that, uh, that they're, that's been printed out and canvas wall hanging like I have behind me. So that it's, it's complicated. It's a lot of fun, but it's time consuming. <laughs> so do you have to be a crafter in order to participate in Secret Season? No. I know that people get really anxious about the, well, I'm not an artist. I'm not a good enough artist. Because, of course, everyone is really excited about this top tier stuff that comes out. But people are also really excited when they get just something cool and unique that someone mm -hmm. made for them. Um, so you don't have to be that crafty. It certainly helps. The people who have been involved the longest are either uh, people who are artists, um, either professionally or as a hobby or you know, secondary profession, um, or are do some sort of crafting regularly. But we do, you know, we have the people who who just buy things uh, from the stores, which I, I say just, but they, it's not a, a lesser thing. It's it's just a different way of gifting and showing that, hey, I want to do something for a fellow fan. And that's awesome. I personally love every single one of them because there's always something that goes into the thought process of why they're giving this particular gift. Absolutely. I think that's the most exciting thing is just being able to connect with another someone else who is so deeply passionate about this fandom and these books and being able to show that and share that I think is a wonderful opportunity. Absolutely. So what is the most like amazing, what's the coolest or most impressive <laughs> thing that you've seen given or that you have been given? Um, there's all sorts of things all over the board. The, things that I, I posted so we have a facebook group um where there is a community and we chat a lot throughout the year but especially during the season and i asked you know what are some of the coolest gifts you've seen or that um you personally have received and most of them were something really personal um you know a gift box that that is engraved someone received that they use every single day there's a gentleman who does cosplay weapons uh, professionally and sells them. And he's uh, a couple of years ago, he made a sill blade, um, which was just gorgeous. And then last year, he made, uh, I believe, two Nightblood swords. Wow. And one of them was gifted to my partner, Stevie, who is. And my partner in crime, she does a lot of the busy work for me. Um, and so I have that here. Um, oh, my goodness. That's incredible. And it is just gorgeous. And it, of course, says, hello, would you like to destroy some evil today? Things like that. Um, I was I was gifted last year. Usually, I don't sign up. I, I've never signed up for it, actually. Um, I, I don't feel like it's appropriate for, for me to do that. Occasionally, people send me things. Um, and so last year, I was gifted, spoiler warning for a seven-year-old book, The Bands of Mourning. And this is Whoa. Damascus Steel. He handmade this, and it is just amazing. It is probably, I don't know, it's one of my three favorite gifts that I've received, uh, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Uh, another one is a deck of cards um, that I don't remember their name off the top of my head. Their username is Ascendio. Uh, but they made a Mistborn deck of cards several years ago. And it is uh, just gorgeous art. I recognize that. Oh, you have one too. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I have participated in Secret Says It, I think, for the past four or maybe five years at this point. Something uh, and like that. Yeah, I, I have a, a <laughs> deck of those Mistborn cards. I've gotten, at this point, two different Mist Cloaks, uh, <laughs> one of which I actually wore to uh, Fanex uh, this past week. 
Nice. Uh, which was fun to walk around. It's really, really fun. I actually usually make for my gift, I have a vast amount of actual samples of alimantic metals. <laughs> and yes. so I've got uh, metal vials that I create for all of mine, which I think are just really fun and they look super cool. The other of my three favorites, of course, is this beautiful piece of art behind me. But this was a complete surprise. And one day I just got this huge package in the mail. What on earth is this? And this this beautiful, ridiculous piece of art made by uh, Katya, uh, my daughter. You mentioned the Miss Cloak. My daughter received uh, a Miss Cloak uh, a couple of years ago that, that she's worn a couple times to, to conventions. It, it, it's just so much fun. How do people sign up? What's the best way to get involved in this amazing and incredible opportunity? <laughs> it is all done through a Google form. One of these years, I will make a better process. Um, I was planning on it this year, but life happens. There's just a Google form that they can go to, fill it out, and get sent to us. It's open right now. Usually we close it the uh, first week of November. Um, there's also the, the best ways to keep connected with the community. There is uh, that Facebook group, which is just Secret Say Z. And then there is a tiny letter that you can sign up for. Those are the two primary ways to keep up with information about what's going on. And um, people, w when they get their gifts, tend to post really excited things on the Facebook page. So I love that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I will include both of those links in the description. Uh, if you would like to sign up for Secret Says It, please do so. It sounds like you've got until the 1st of November. Mm -hmm. If you miss this year, hop on for next year, because this is such an excellent thing to be able to participate in. Thank you so much, Mark, for uh, hopping on this call with me today. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. So everybody go craft and find out. <laughs>